Mastering the Basics of eQuest Energy Modeling. My name is Neil Bolger, and we're going to take a look at detailed inputs for schedules and how schedules come together. And this introduction is really meant to be just that, an introduction, so people can feel comfortable, go further in eQuest, and build really robust models that are accurate. So with that, uh, here I am in eQuest. I'm right now looking at the Internal Loads tab and the Component Tree. And on every single one of these tabs in eQuest, you actually can see the schedules that are being used in the model. It almost doesn't matter what tab I'm on. If you just keep scrolling, there they are. And schedules are set up in three tiers. There's an annual schedule, weekly schedules, and then daily schedules. And they are all linked in different forms. And there are really only a few basic types of schedules, and you'll see what I mean quickly. But first, the way they're linked. So if we were to look at an annual schedule and I double click it again, we can quickly see these same three tabs related to those same three folders on the left, annual, weekly, daily. And then if you look down at this annual tab, it says, this is the name of my schedule. If you wanna see what other annual schedules are in the software, you can click this drop down and go to those. I have, I am a multiplier type and we'll look at what multiplier means. Actually, let's go to this one, fractional. Fractional is probably the most common meaning I am an input of zero to one, one being 100%, point 0.1 being 10%. So I am an annual fractional schedule. I'm made up of one week, and that week is applied every week from the first month ending in the 12th month and ending on the last day. So if you want to have different weekly schedules that occurred for summer occupancy, uh, for schools, let's say, you could have different schedules and different weeks. But let's just keep going with this example. So if I click weekly schedule, it will actually jump to the weekly schedule that I was currently looking at for the annual schedule. So I'm here, I'm looking at EL1 for occupancy annual. Now we're looking at EL building occupancy weekly schedule. And just like annual, this week is made up of two schedules. It's made up of the weekday and the weekend. And what we're actually seeing here is red and green uh, assignments. And the way schedules work is if Monday is assigned and if I don't want to pick the dropdown of Tuesday, it will just default to whatever came before. So for instance, if I made Wednesday, say the weekend, this one, well, I think this will actually always default to Monday. This is more apparent on the actually each hour. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna restore this back to the default. So here, weekend, uh, cooling days as well. There's two cooling design days. So these are the schedules that are used during design day simulations. There's a whole other tutorial on design days that we look at those schedules. But for now, let's stay focused on the Monday through holiday daily schedules. So if I go to daily, we're immediately looking at just that first day, that weekday schedule. And here we can see Midnight to midnight, it goes from zero up to 70%, 7 a.m., 90%. Noon, it dips a little, people leave, and then everyone's pretty much gone by 11. So here's actually where I was referring to, it will inherit values if something is not specified. So we see here at eight to nine, it's set to 0.9, and in nine to 10, it's also 0.9, and it's green. Green meaning it's copying from the previous hour because no one has put something in. If I was to put in, 0.85, we'll see that the next hour, which was green, copied that over. If I want to go back and say, well, I don't want to specify nine, I want to use eight. If I restore default, both of those now copy the one that preceded it. So we can see that the user has only really specified zero, some numbers at six and eight, a change at noon, a change at one, and so forth. And there's the weekend schedule as well uh, that can be modified. So in this way, every time you want to make a new schedule, you want to manipulate a schedule, this is how it has to be done. It has to be done each hour at a time. There are ways to manipulate inheriting values across and only specifying, say, three different changes. But that's how schedules work in eQuest. If you want to import a new schedule, let's say we get a whole new programmatic type, eQuest does have a fairly robust library that can be drawn upon. If I go into a daily schedule, it's best usually to start at daily. And if I go to the drop down, 
in here, I can actually say, I wanna create a new daily schedule. And so from here, I could name this, I could say school dash oc. That's what I'm gonna call it, but I wanna find one from the eQuest library. And so here, this is actually where it's looking at a text file. It's telling you where it is, which is hard to read. But either way, this is a nice little navigator of that text file. I could say I want an occupancy schedule, and I'm looking for schools. So I can look down here and say, oh, there's gymnasiums. There's, here we go, uh, school, elementary school, secondary. Let's pick secondary school occupancy weekday. You can even see it describes it here in full text. So I can hit, great, that's the one I want. I'm going to hit OK, and that just pulled it all in. And now we can see it's fractional change. And here we're actually seeing, again, green inherited from the hour above. And blue, representing this data, is actually linked to the library of eQuest. If I was to change this, I think it will ask me that I need to pull this entire component in. So it actually just made a copy of that, put it into my file as a text file, and all those blue linked files now turned red. That difference in color, very, very rare that you'll ever see that again, uh, because it's been not too common to leave things unlinked or unedited in some form. Either way, so I have my weekend. I'm gonna quickly pull in the week, the weekend one. Sorry, we have the weekday. Let's go back. Type S to try to jump down here, secondary school. Let's just pick weekend. So I have those two. Now I want a new week schedule. I wonder if this might work. This might work. I actually think if I do this, I actually linked those to the library. So instead of that, I could point it to my own file. So now I have this weekend schedule. I actually could have started the annual and it would have created all those other ones or at least linked it to the library. But here I could even just now create from scratch a fractional schedule. Annual schools, school oc. This is pretty boring. So I'm gonna end on the last day, 12th month. My weekday schedule is gonna be made up of this one. And now I'm set. So that was pretty crude but I just made that schedule. I haven't actually assigned it. I would need to use that in some form or another in a room tied to when people are actually there. I can now assign annual schools occupancy. So that's an overview of schedules. Thanks.